So I booted up Fallout 76 on my PS4 just to jump in and get my deities done and all that. And I spot this uh, message here in the top right corner. Fallout 76 news. We're planning to bring down Fallout 76. You see that every day just before a patch and you kind of discard it. And just as I was about to discard it, I read it again. We're planning to bring the PC version of Fallout 76 offline for maintenance on August 18th at 10 a.m. ET. Now, this didn't sound right to me. I thought, surely there must be a mistake. But then I got thinking, it actually says PC. It's never just said the PC version before. So it's not like someone forgot to go in and change the text that was there. Someone physically added this text recently. And so it got me thinking, you know, we, we, we have to find out more about this. What do you mean the PC version only? I'm ready to go on the PlayStation. So I found this on the uh, Bethesda community forums. Hi everyone, our plans for this hotfix have changed a bit. We're going to start by releasing it for PC versions of the game tomorrow and then monitor some of the changes it contains before we release the hotfix for console versions of the game closer to the end of the week. We will begin PC maintenance at 10 a.m. on Tuesday the 18th. With this hotfix, we're going to enable the new public event, a colossal problem, and apply a few bug fixes. During downtime, PC players will be unable to log in, blah, 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 blah. Console players will not be affected by this and will still be able to play normally during PC downtime. Thank you very much. So, <laughs> in a nutshell, without actually saying it, a colossal problem, the new event that we've all been prepping for has been delayed again. This time the delay is hitting us console players only. It will go ahead on the PC. Now, I started reading more into the forums to see what the reactions were like, and it is a mixed bag. <laughs> it, is, it is really a mixed bag. There are some very disappointed players. I rank myself amongst them, okay? This, this is like last minute notice. This isn't something that you just decided all willy nilly, oh, hey, let's just, let's just remove consoles from this. This was planned. And I really hate how communication works between Bethesda and players. I hate how, you know, in, in this case particularly, it's so last minute. It's so easy to miss. I nearly missed it, even though it was up on the top right hand side of my screen before I launched into the game. Normally I just scan that. I see the word maintenance. I know what's happening because this happens all the time. This message is always up before maintenance. Only because I happened to be waiting for the screen to load for the game world to find and load in, did I quickly scan it. Normally I wouldn't. And I just picked up the fact that it said PC versions. Had I not, I would have been all excited tomorrow waiting for the, I guess for the, for the, for the PC, for the PlayStation download to begin, for the hotfix to install, and to jump in and play Colossal Problem with the actual character that I use and not that crappy one I have on the test server, but this is not to be. So yes, I'm, I'm very disappointed. It has been during the conversations on the forums, it, it has been pointed out rationally, and, and I agree with this, that it does make more sense to roll it on the PC first, because it's much easier to roll it back on the PC. Should the patch introduce any game breaking bugs or any new problems or six new ways for players to duplicate items or whatever the case may be. They can simply just roll back the version. Much easier on PC, much more difficult to get that done on console. In fact, usually it's it's quicker to, to come up with a new patch to address the issue of the old patch. So that makes sense, right? Cool minds prevail. Okay, we understand that. But cool minds be damned because this really annoys me. Colossal problem we've been waiting for for quite a while. And it was delayed. It was delayed quite a bit. So weeks, weeks and weeks of delays, all right? It's been up on the public test server for God knows how long now. So you would think that all the testing that needs to be done should be at this point done. It was delayed weeks, then it was delayed two more weeks when it was supposed to launch. Being on the, the public test server myself, I can confirm 
it's quite active. Every time I jump in, it's really hard for me to to take on a colossal problem because all three nukes have already been used. And so I find myself waiting until the cooldown for a silo occurs so I can jump in and launch another nuke. But usually someone beats me to it. So it's not like it's been underutilized. There's plenty of feedback being provided as well. So it's quite possible, and again, pure speculation, that the concern is not with the event itself, but with the bug fixes that are coming alongside the event. And that annoys me. That annoys me because if you're that concerned about it, all right, we already have a colossal problem on the consoles. It came with patch 21. It just needs to be enabled. Update that to the, the current version of colossal problem and run it. If you're worried about the patch fixes, then don't roll them out. Roll them out in a later patch. That's fine. We've been dealing with this nonsense nonstop anyway. Um, I think I think if you if you asked most players, hey, do you guys want to wait and then get Colossal Problem with a few patches for some other game bugs? Or do you want to continue with the game bugs you're already experiencing anyway and get Colossal Problem? Players would want the content. That's just my take on it, though. And I guess what disappoints me more than anything is how long it has taken and continues to take to get one new encounter on consoles and on PC. It's, it's taken forever on PC as well. Let's, let's not forget that. But this is, this is a new encounter. This is a boss. All right. Now, what I, what I was hoping to see going forward is that we would get encounters like this rolling quite frequently to more content coming into the game. In fact, you could use this whole arena and rotate in on a weekly basis uh, a different encounter. But to do that, of course, you need you need content coming. You need encounters coming. This this is a fun encounter. Check out the uh, the video on the top right of the screen if you want to see my running co my running commentary on that. It is a fun encounter, but at the end of the day, there's not too much to the encounter, and we've been waiting months for them to do this. So I think it's quite clear that Bethesda's development team is severely, severely under resourced. They have to be, absolutely have to be. I mean, in the time it has taken to get a colossal problem off the ground from conception and announcement and, and showing us a few bits and bobs to it actually rolling to PC tomorrow and console end of the week, potentially, um, unless we, we see a delay again. I would at least expect in that time frame to have lots of bits of little content coming in. A few more different encounters here and there. A few new events popping up of simplistic design. But you should be able to roll content on a constant basis. It shouldn't be a case as it is now where some new content comes out. It dries up really quickly. Everyone waits and moans and complains. I'm one of them, by the way. I'm not criticizing because there's nothing to do in the game and wait and then something is announced and then we wait some more and then we get some more news on that announcement and then we wait some more and then eventually it makes its way to the game. We deal with it quite quickly and then we're dry on content once again. And it's just this repeating cycle. It takes forever to get anything into the game. And that shouldn't be the case. There should be, I think, you know, inside that team, there should be different people working on different things and then bringing it all together and then you know drip feeding it to us i don't mind it being drip fed but it has to be on a consistent basis it's like okay i've got this thing this thing rolls on a tuesday right this new piece of content drops i get it done by wednesday or thursday and i know hey you know i wonder i wonder what's coming next tuesday or i can't wait to take on this this new encounter next tuesday or whatever the case may be now not these big encounters like this one you know, I would expect something like this, maybe a new one to rotate in once a month or something. But there's no reason why new events cannot roll into Fallout 76. Uh, new variations of existing events to make it interesting. When you go to say any one of the events that you don't know what variation you're going to get, that the enemies you face might be a little different. In fact, now that, and this is more thinking towards the future, with daily ops rolling, um, I'll be doing a video on that shortly. The link will be in the top right of this video once that's done. But with daily ops rolling and with enemies having mutations, I think that's something that can be visited and rolled into some existing events quite easily with minimum development. 
And that's something that you can, you know, just drop and roll out. And it would make things interesting, joining an event, not having a clue what variation you're going to have, and having to adapt on the fly accordingly. But again, these are just some ideas of fast content drops that we could be seeing. I feel that we should be seeing. And all of this is popping into my head now simply because the event that I was looking forward to that has been delayed to hell and has now been delayed once again on console is just it's it's so disappointing I, I can't grasp the right word but it is so disappointing that it is taking this long to roll with this kind of content and I guess just to wrap it up one other thing I was thinking is meat week and a colossal problem were both in patch 21 now now meat week was going to be delayed two days until the Thursday so a colossal problem could roll on a Tuesday if you're not going to roll a colossal problem on the Tuesday roll meat week roll something you know show a bit of empathy for your console players and say look we're so sorry we have some concerns with the rollout we just want to double check that everything's cool on the PC before we commit and launch on console in the meantime meet week will go ahead Tuesday as planned and we'll try and get a colossal problem out at the end of the week so at least yes those of us who um who are really excited about doing something new in the game tomorrow or today whenever you listen to it we still have something to do you know something new it's like okay you know it's not a colossal problem but hey you know we've, we've got something to keep us busy until that rolls anyway look that's that's my thoughts on it I'm Sorry that I actually <laughs> went into a bit of a rant there. I do that from time to time, but you get used to it. Anyway, look, guys, thank you so much, as always, for tuning in. If you like the video, please do hit the like button and like the video. If you're not already subscribed, consider a subscription. And until next time, take it easy. All the best.